fantastic Hanukkah it's been. Uh, and I don't know what kind of a prize you want to get for your son or daughter, but today in 2016 to 2017, everybody's talking about the new VR, the virtual reality. You've got loads of different consoles out there. You've got the Xbox, you've got the Y, you've got PlayStation 4, all the different uh, kind of amazing consoles, fantastic games. 2,200 years ago, you're a kid. What are you gonna play with? The best toy of the time was none other than this. The famous dreidel, Sivivon as they call it. Kids used to play with it. And what's the story of this dreidel that we have and that we play with on Hanukkah? So I wanna share with you a fantastic idea. You see, in the olden days, 2,200 years ago, the Jews were occupied by the Greeks. The Greeks' philosophy was being imposed upon them and they were not allowed to learn any Torah. They, had, they were forbidden, everything for, was forbidden. So what they did is they would learn in hiding or they would learn when the Greek soldiers were not around. And as lookouts, they would put the children on the outside to check out whether the Greek soldiers were coming. When the Greek soldiers were cut, they put everything away and they bring out the Sivivon, this beautiful dreidel and start to play. And that was the game that they were pretending that they were playing. In fact, they were actually learning Torah. Until today, what we're doing now would have been forbidden, just even talking about the Torah now it's spread across the whole world. What is the secret of this Sivivon? On the Sivivon, if you look very carefully, you can see there are different letters. First, you have a Nun, Nes. Then you have Gadol, Gimel, Haya, Hey, and a Shin, Sham. Nes, Gadol, Haya, Sham. A great miracle occurred there. Of course, this is referring to the beautiful miracle of Hanukkah, that the fact that the Jews came in after many years of contamination, they came into the temple and they were able to free up the temple and to find that beautiful jar of oil that was not contaminated. And they lit it and it lit for eight days. Everybody knows that amazing story. I want to share with you a deeper idea of this Nesgadol Hayasha. We have two rabbinical festivals. There is a festival of Purim. It occurred after the time, obviously, of the Torah, at the time of Mordechai and Esther, and it was enacted by the rabbis of the time. And we have Hanukkah. What is the difference? I want to share with you a small idea. On Purim, when Haman's name is mentioned, if you're in the synagogue, you hear a big rush, a big noise. And people are shaking what is called a gregor. A gregor is this little, if you like, looks like a flag and you hold it with your hand and you swing it around and it makes all this noise and we're trying to obliterate the name of Haman. On Hanukkah, we play with the dreidel of Sivivon. What's the difference? Explain our rabbis as follows. You take a gregor, in the time of Purim, the Jews were going to be annihilated. That was the end of the Jewish history, as we know it. In one day, Haman decided that he was going to take over and he was going to kill all the Jews. The Jews heard about this and Esther proclaimed a fast for three days. I imagine if that would happen nowadays. Great sage of the time says, everybody, we have to fast for three days. Perhaps some of us would, perhaps some of us wouldn't. Everybody listened to her and everybody fasted. It was serious. Due to the fast, God Almighty answered with a miracle. We here, down below, did our part and God answered with a miracle. On Hanukkah, it's the opposite. We didn't really change ourselves. There was a lot of Jews that were becoming mitiavnim, they were becoming Greeks. The philosophy was very ingrained deep into the hearts of the Jews by the time. There was a few Maccabees that started the revolt and eventually were able to bring back Judaism to its height. But at the time, really, the real reason that we had the miracle was what the rabbis term hitaruta de la coming from above god almighty brought down a shefa a beautiful abundance for no reason it's not because we caused it there were a few people that did cause it but it's not as a nation that we caused it this is the idea on purim we take the gregor and from below from beneath we are making like this, our movement but above it makes a big rush it makes a big noise just like in the heavens it made a noise that the Jewish people are repenting and therefore the miracle came. On Hanukkah, it's from above. You take the dreidel from above and you spin it 
God Almighty is spinning our destiny. Nes Gadol Haya Sham. That is the beauty of Hanukkah when God Almighty is coming down, so to speak, and he's spinning and he's saying, you can be turning and twisting and turning, but I'm running the show and this is the time, these eight days, I'm going to give you an abundance. The oil is going to last for eight days and that's going to show you that there's lots of miracles that can be happening at this time. It's a very special time. Our rabbis tell us that we had four different galiot, four different exiles. We were exiled by the Babylonians. We were exiled by the Medians, by the Persians. In the times of, of, of uh, Mordechai and Esther, we, were, we had a problem with the Greeks, the third, and the fourth was with the Romans. This is represented also on the dreidel. Nun represents nefesh. The Babylonians wanted to destroy our nefesh, our soul. Guf, that's our body. That's when Haman wanted to destroy us as a physical nation. Shin, that's the seichel. The mind, the Greeks wanted to contaminate our mind to bring their philosophy over Jewish philosophy. And He is Hakol. These are the Romans who wanted to destroy everything. On Hanukkah, we take the dreidel and we spin it around and we say that God Almighty is in charge. And therefore, if you take the gematria of all these letters, Nun, Shin, Gimel, He, Nes, Gadol, Hayasham, Nun is, if you take the gematria, it adds up to 358 the same numerical value as Hamashiach. I'm Rabbi Jonathan Tawil, wishing you a Chanukah Sameach. Enjoy these eight days. Make them special. Enjoy the abundance of miracles that can be sought after. I'm wishing you a Chodesh Tov and a Shabbat Shalom.